you're there. No. Where's there? Yeah. Good place. There. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, been a while. Twelve days. Yeah, it has. Something like that. It doesn't feel like that long. Uh, work stuff, personal yeah. stuff, and work stuff again. The work mm. stuff good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. Um, it's just I was going in expecting to do a morning and I ended up there till five o'clock and I was like, well, now I've used all the batteries and everything. I've just got no time to charge or anything. Or <laughs> just anything. no batteries. Just, yeah. Batteries are gone. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. R- yeah weird week. Uh, we, now, now that it's still, doesn't feel like we've had good weather yet. We've I don't think it's a few been a sunny storm. days. I've locked myself inside a dark <laughs> room. <laughs> well, then who are you to comment on the weather? I'm, 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 I'm a voice. A specific minority of the indoor crowd. Yeah. Well, it's terrible. Yeah. You've been outside? No. no. <laughs> Why would I? Well, it's terrible. It's quite nice. No, it is. <laughs> but yeah, it still feels like um, storminess. Like not, it hasn't been storming, but still quite bleh. We've had not heavy, like let's go out and have a great day. Had, like heavy rain on a few nights, but I quite like it at night. Like hearing mm. it like battering against the roof and that something something nice yeah. about it. I think you have to be in the mood for it. Cause I, I always used to say that about yeah. like camping. Like I love when it, when it rains and it's camping. Yeah. Um, that is quite like the naturousness of it all. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I can right now imagine that, yeah, could, that could be quite a ball. Like you could be like, oh, it could be nice, but it could be, can you fuck off please? If you're camping, but if you're just in your house. Even then. Really? Fuck the world. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still stuff you can't really do. Two sugars. Yeah. It's like, I don't mind walking my dog in the rain, but it's not the best. Mm-mm. It's just more work. It's like, oh, if we can go to the shops in the rain, so that's okay. But it's just I was I wasn't on about worse. going out in it. So it's just like it's staying just, behind just the windows. Just the sound. Just yeah. looking at the neighbours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, yeah. unprepared and wet. Wash his car in the rain. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> is that more efficient or less efficient? I don't no. know. <laughs> Everyone's dying, though. Apparently. Yeah. I'm interested to see your, your take. Because uh, I've got, I think I've got the opposite take. But oh, the, 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 to, to this coronavirus shit that's going yeah. around, um, I read somewhere that there was someone in Tesco in full hazmat suit buying a loaf of bread. I was like, that's that's better. I think that's... I'd prefer it if there were more hazmat suits, gluten tolerant people walking around <laughs> buying, buying bread. Well, yeah, but gluten intolerant people should wear hazmat suits at all times. Just in case. Just so they don't... Pass on the habit to anyone else. Rogue pigeons drop breadcrumbs and ducks. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. But yeah, there's a, the, the, it's gotten worse. But I've uh, the thing that I find funniest, it, the same as like the Trump and the Greta Thunberg. I think it's just you've got. I believe that all people are pretty stupid on average. Like eighty yeah. percent of the population are just stupid. Don't really know what they're doing. It's going bleh. Yeah. So like you had it with like Greta Thunberg, fuck this child telling me what to do. Yeah. Or um, Brexit. This is kind of nonsense. But what's 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 been happening in the somewhat recently in the last couple of years is like people have been taking the opposite side of that argument and yeah. trying to make it. But by doing so, they to even out that craziness, they've got to go crazier over this side. So like the whole thing with coronavirus is you either believe that it's a big thing. Uh, you don't care, or you think that it, everyone's overreacting. So I'm I'm in the middle. Mm. It is a big thing. Mm. It is highly infectious. However, overstocking toilet roll is not going to help. Well, I've got f- articles that prove. <laughs> <laughs> but like um, you said before, um, and, and this, what I mean by this, I, I can't remember what you said about it. I just, I just remember you having a somewhat people are overreacting or the media is overreacting to it, right? But I've spoken to some people, other people, who were just like, um, yeah, 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 but it only kills, you know, the weak. You're like, yeah. But well, still like, not that's not the way society... Sh- if you believe we should liquidate the weak, yeah, then that's a different no, conversation. The, 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 the mortality rate or the, the, the most affected are the same people that would be most affected by the flu. Like it's yeah, babies, people with old people... There's been baby deaths. There's been old people death. Diabetics. I think I, th- I, think I read today there was the first case of a newborn being born with it. Yeah, born into it. Yeah, you think you were you you adapted to the coronavirus? Well, I was born in it. But- <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had the mask. On. But- <laughs> <laughs> Just didn't want to, didn't want to catch spread catch corona from anyone yeah. else. Has anybody got any debt on? <laughs> anyone below? I like- cut kitchen roll in half and it shakes. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't need toilet paper. I have a bidet. <laughs> That was a thing. There was a. Uh, I mentioned it in the article later, but there was people. The reaction to toilet roll buying, right? I'll get into the psychology of it apparently in a bit. But it's there hysteria. were people. Yeah, but there were people saying that people buying toilet paper is trying to keep, to, trying to maintain the first world luxury of using a toilet, and I I don't understand that statement. <laughs> like, no. shitting isn't a first world luxury. No. Everybody poops. Yeah. Right? Did you never read yeah. the book? <laughs> it's just like, yeah. And, and you could argue that using a toilet in like a, a plumbed toilet could be a first world yeah. luxury. But I don't think it's necessarily a first world luxury. I'm sure second world has got it. Although I don't, I'm not exactly sure if they exist. I think it goes straight from first to third. Does it not seem like good baseball players. Really dumb. Like, really dumb mm. that you'd say that about toilet paper and not hand sanitizer. Yeah. But then just to- the saying that to- people toilet who use paper toilet isn't roll, a luxury. Yeah. It's a bad system anyway. It yeah. ar- arguably more of a third world luxury. Yeah. Because, like, there's far more hygienic and more advanced ways to remain clean. Yeah. It's just we don't use them. Yeah. Because our houses are old, probably. Other people wipe their arse on processed, on, on normal leaves. Yeah, we wipe our arse on processed leaves. Like, yeah, it's still... it's like there's bidets, there's showers. That's there's what I said. Things. I was like, I'm not, oh, as long as I've still got running water, I don't care if the toilet yeah. paper runs out. Like, that's not, it's not really a really a massive concern for me. Yeah. I'll, I'll jump into the article just uh, quickly, because we're talking about it now. The um, Apparently, there's two different types of panic. Where was it? Um, yeah, there's disaster panic, and that's where you know something's coming, and yeah. it will it, it will last a certain period of time, and so you will buy accordingly. I need to buy a week's worth of tinned food. Mm. There's that kind of panic, which is a bit more organised, and then there's general panic, which is like just everyone panicking. Yeah, and apparently, <laughs> apparently, when you're looking to retain something of value. In, in a disaster, you look for big, shiny things, right? And toilet roll is one of the biggest, shiniest things in a supermarket. <laughs> Would you really think about it? I guess. They come in big packs. Why not just take the trolley? It's free. Yeah, you wipe your ass <laughs> in that trolley. <laughs> That's massive and shiny. Take the cash, It's yeah. not free. It costs a quid. But still. Yeah, it's just magnets. It's got magnets in it too. Yeah. yeah. Melt it down. Make I forks. I just like the idea that like the, the, the a, a, a massive value pack of toilet roll is some kind of shrine... <laughs> Yeah. relic that your uh, your subconscious animal mind is like that is the gold that we must seek yeah and people are taking have you been affected by any of uh shortages stuff um no i don't think so i mean i i, I noticed when, when we were doing shopping like on sunday the place was out of soap which didn't matter because we didn't yeah. need soap but it's yeah. like well if it comes to the point where they, they haven't replenished and we do need soap, then that's going to be an inconvenience. Because that, yeah. that's something that I would insist on using every day. I've seen like, um, like medical hygiene. aisles, like flu stuff, all yeah. cleared up shelves and stuff like but that. But then I went to I, I went to a local, like the like two minutes up the road off license, and like their medical place is absolutely fine. Everything's yeah. in stock. Everything's... People going to the bigger ones just to yeah. swamp it out. I guess so. But more than that, I've got a friend who um, was denied sale because of it. They're, and it's a, it's a genuine thing. I, I looked it up. Oh, um, was there anything more on the panic? What, is it, did they t- the bigger they are, the more important we think they are. Toilet rolls. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Is it... Um, is it um, sorry. When you got... So denied. Is it like yeah. like rationed? Yeah. yeah. Supermarkets have started doing that where you can only buy two soaps and right. they won't sell you anymore. Well, Which just feels weird. Especially because yeah, like we didn't... About, this happened like six days ago, apparently, according to the article. Tesco started doing it and then everywhere's kind of started doing it. And it was it, like, it was just... It's responsible though. Why? Because it ensures that, that, that there's a more even coverage of the, of the population as far as supplies go. So it's a moral responsibility from Tesco, is what you're saying, to like make sure everyone has the same amount of chilli con carne? Make sure, no, it's not. They're well, doing it with tinned food, I, I didn't mention that, but yeah, okay. which I thought was re- kind of weird. I could kind of see a point if it was soap hand sanitizer. Yeah. But, and there's a big thing about people bulk buying and then selling higher online. Oh, yeah. Um, which is basically what supermarkets do. Well, I, right? got, I got that because uh, Vix wanted 
uh, hand sanitizer for work, but they haven't. But there's there's none mm. anywhere. I was like, well, I I said, well, there's there's like three things in it, so I'll just buy the things and make some. That's fine. So I got this. I ordered the stuff off eBay. Make some hand sanitizer. Yeah, it's got it's literally three ingredients. Last time we spoke, you made your own vape oil. Um, Did I? Yeah, out of water and other vape oil. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I never put water in it. Wasn't it water? Yeah, you said like it was your vape oil was high percentage nicotine. No, water down water. with a zero percent. Okay, so yeah, so, you, no, I didn't made put a water mix in of, it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's still a start, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's, that's strong, the start of your like, Breaking Bad like, journey. It's, yeah, it's not like if you get like a strong coffee or something, like you don't put water put less in it. To, weaker coffee in it. Yeah. I guess. Um, but yeah, you started with the with the vaping uh, Breaking Bad, and now you've moved on to... <laughs> well, I did, <laughs> and, like, I've, I, I found... Because I, I originally looked for hand sanitizer on there, and the, if, you, if you look for hand sanitizer on eBay, this is the peak example of it, that there was a guy selling a 50ml bottle of hand sanitizer um, for, for £11, only used twice. <laughs> yeah. It's like that's a it's that, that's just how things are going. So I ordered the bits for it. One of the things <laughs> came, and yeah. the other two got lost in the post. That guy nicked them. Well, whatever they they got lost in the post, and I went back on their site, and they're now selling them for triple the price. So it's like it didn't get lost in the post. You just see an opportunity to make mm. more money and extort people. But it's just so. I think this is a common theme between us. I just think we should point it out whenever we see it. I okay. think it's our floor. Right. That took a lot of effort. Not a lot of effort, but more effort than an average day, right? Oh, what to? To be like, right, I need to get some hand sanitizer. Well, uh, I'll make my own. So I'll look into making my own and I'll order it and do all that kind of stuff. I guess it's not a lot of effort, though. Not a lot of effort, right? But when it comes to trying to do something, like we will procrastinate other things that we regularly want to do in favour of something else like DIY sanitizer. Maybe. I think there's like little things where it's like, we like doing things. We mm. like occupying and working and planning stuff out and doing new, creating new stuff. Yeah. You know, cures and stuff like that. But like when it comes to, um, I don't know, post. Yeah. Just no. So it's a weird thing that kind of triggers is the yeah. trying to understand it. Well, more. I've done very little of any use today, but. I did see some old bananas on the side. I was like, well, I can't, have, can't, have, can't be throwing food away, not at times like this. Yeah. So I made banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> Which does feel somewhat procrastinatory or whatever, if, if, there's, it, if there's a word. Again, but it's yeah, it does, but you've done kind of, productive stuff yeah. <laughs> in, that, in the banana world. Yeah. You've made banana I've bread. I've made something that will last longer than those bananas would. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds great. And and you're on the verge of getting the I mean, apparently all you need is seventy percent alcohol um for a hand sanitizer. Yeah. That's the whole thing. So there was a thing in Stoke alcohol, about aloe vera gel and <laughs> vitamin E. That's it. E E's <laughs> it's it's a preservative. So, someone's put some E in this. <laughs> um give it a longer shelf. There was a thing in uh, Stoke where a swimming pool was saying, We're not closing down, don't worry. We filled our swimming pools with antibacterials. And there's okay. a, there's this whole there was another whole argument that was being had because antibacterials don't work because it's a virus not a but not a bacteria based illness or something. Yeah. And then it's like oh well if it's an antibac that has seventy percent alcohol in it then the seventy percent alcohol will kill it so that's yeah. fine. But now apparently it's in the air so now we've well, got full thing. loads of listen, alcohol in the air. <laughs> I, I listened to that uh, that infectious disease guy on Joe Rogan the other day. Um, I think I, I can't remember his name, but he was he was on this week. It's worth listening to. Mm. Um, if like, but if you're the kind of person that gets terrified by this sort of thing, don't listen to it. Because <laughs> um, he's essentially been like, well, we're past the point where there's anything we can really do. Washing your hands doesn't it doesn't do anything. It's in the air. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're not passing it on by shaking hands with each other. You're touching like door handles or whatever. You're passing it on by breathing on yeah, each other. Just stop. And it takes 14 days to see any symptoms. So even if you have got it, you won't know until you've infected a thousand other people. So well, in essence, like if you're going to get it, you're going to get it. Most people have got, a, will will get over it, but vulnerable people won't. Apparently it's like chicken pox as well, where it's mm. like they want the entire population to get it now. Because if they don't, it'll just come back around again next year. Well, that's the thing. Like he said, he said, like, he said we'll, we'll be so far off a vaccine from it that really the only way to bring it under control now is for most people to get it. Mm. so when you're in a room so so they can be in another room with people who've got it and it won't affect them yeah 
But it's quite, it's quite interesting. I love chaos, to be honest. It's nice to watch a bit of chaos. <laughs> and for people like you and me who don't leave the house, it's yeah. great. Yeah, it's like you don't really you don't really notice it. But again, I think it's just, uh, again, it's just people kind of reacting to things emotion, not, emo- not even emotionally. It's just like stuff you haven't thought through. I mean, yeah. I've, I, I hit a, an adult moment last week where I realised if I want to, because I want to get into the practice of writing and, and, and doing a bit more, figuring out, like I said, I don't really know what my opinions are about stuff. We've been talking for three years. I still don't know what I believe. No, I know I've got like an outline of some stuff, but I think there's part of me that goes like, you know what, if you actually sat down and wrote a thesis mm. on what you think, on one main idea of what you think, and the only the, the root thing that I've got is that um, you shouldn't depend on anybody else in the world. Yeah. So who cares who's prime minister who cares who's the health minister? It doesn't really matter. Who cares about the state of schools? They're all benefits that should help you, but mm. you shouldn't rely upon them completely. So yeah. it's like, that's my, that, that's, that's one initial thought I've had of like, if you break your leg, you should be able to fix it. Yeah. If you contract coronavirus, you should be able to develop a vaccine yourself or create your own <laughs> antibacterial gel. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So it's just that idea of, yeah, isolationism or something. I was like, if I actually spent a day exploring that and developing it and trying to add different scenarios to it, I'd understand it a bit more. And that's just the thing that I've had. It's like, you know what? I should sit down and do that. And that's why I was thinking about doing more writing on, on a website, a blog. Because all blogs are the start of something great. Oh, you yeah. Know? They're not like a downfall into madness. Or yeah. Anything. So I might as well just try and, uh, try and flesh those ideas out on there. But most people don't take that time. I've never taken that time. I've only had that thought just now. So people reacting to these news articles that they've thought about, not, not at all, don't know yeah. what they think. And it's just like they're working it out out loud. That's the thing. But it's presented like, as if it's a finished product. I, th- I, think, I, think. Th- I think you just have to kind of get in the practice of it. Um, like I'm at a point now where like... It feels quite cynical to say it, but I think it's the best way to be where I don't believe anything firsthand when people tell me, generally, because like I used to be incredibly reactionary where I could read a headline and that would give me yeah. everything I needed to know about that story and I would preach its truth and whatever like that. Yeah. Um, and eventually like that, that burns you too many times where you just, you just get made to feel stupid in certain situations because you haven't done the work and read into anything. And now yeah. people tell me things or I read things and I just don't believe it, but yeah. it, and it, it's, but it's better. Like it causes you that to, is, to yeah. look, look more into things. I mean, that is why your wedding was so awkward. Like your wife <laughs> was like, I do. And you were like, Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look into this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take a break. I need a third source. Let Vicar. me Google. Have you been on Frogan? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. There's definitely a less. But and um, I, I I I do it the opposite. Actually, mm-hmm. I like to take people's word at face value for the hypothetical it discussion. What it is. No, just about if any it discussion. It sounds outrageous to me. Yeah. Then. That, that it, just about anything like if you're talking about coronavirus be like oh it only kills the elderly be like okay let's just take that as fact let's i'll move forward oh, i didn't know that so only so should we should we just kill all the elderly then like oh oh no but it's great if they die right oh uh um, no but it's you know it's only them that are dying oh is that a, it's a great <laughs> because people just yeah because I, I think more and more people are just working stuff out as they're vomiting yeah. words yeah so you just go like and because I, I said i think it was in last week's episode that there's lots of subjects when broached in conversation that people react to in a predictable and unproductive way so if somebody starts talking about depression they'll be like oh you know they'll say that oh he's got the black dog or something like that they'll just <laughs> use phrases they've heard from tv shows and books yeah and be like oh and they'll react in a certain way and they'll be like oh you just have to do that and it's not helpful for the person they want to have a genuine conversation about it mm. they want to work it out as they're vomiting it and i think most people like yeah when they're trying to voice an opinion they've never thought about it before that it's vomiting and it could be right could be wrong but just give them that space and just be yeah. like instead of trying to argue them down yeah just be like Either either don't engage or help them explore it. I yeah. guess is kind of the kind To be honest, thing. I I think my mindset on a lot of things has has changed just over the past I don't know, three however many years we've been doing this. Mm. Like this is the only time in the week where I have like a long form conversation with somebody about things that I didn't know about or about um where where uh where, where it's actually back and forth as opposed to all input like watching youtube videos and listening yeah, to podcasts yeah. and everything like that i think as well the- watching it back 
is very helpful as well because mm. of whether we're editing it or just checking for stuff yeah like you watch it back and you'd be like hmm, i would have thought about that differently yeah or, I, that yeah. wasn't what i was trying to say yeah yeah so let yeah, me yeah. clarify it next week that kind of thing i think that becomes helpful as well but yeah a lot of people get uh, they crash quite hard when they're being in an argument when they're presenting it as if it's a finished full argument mm. and it's actually just i'm just trying just talking i'm just trying to figure stuff out yeah but you don't necessarily know you're thinking it out you're you're saying something like that thing i i don't like eggs right i made that decision when i was 13 because yeah. i ate an egg when i was six and i was yeah. like, i don't like <laughs> eggs and it's like well and you're arguing it you're saying it but really you're just echoing something you said when you were younger and you haven't reevaluated it yet so that's what happens most of the time is i'll say well you know at least it's only killing the elderly. It's like, oh, well, if I think about it, okay, yeah, it's maybe you don't need to panic over it. But yeah. You definitely need to take precautions about it because some, because elderly people may pass away mm. and it needs to be, and babies and ill people can pass away. It still needs to be dealt with. Yeah. But it's the whole Greta, Th I don't know, I can't remember whether we discussed it, just discussed it, but there's a Greta Thunberg nemesis being built. What? By the Republican Party. Okay. Yeah, I think they've bought a German girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is not this is not false <laughs> they've built they if we can rebuild her they've they've built yeah, they've made they've employed they're pushing an anti greta thrumberg small blonde girl um to maintain that climate change is a myth or something like that okay and it, it's just that example of like no, 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 well, no. you can disagree but yeah. you're just you're matching the crazy and yeah. if you're just matching craziness then what the hell's going on just just go just you just walk to the middle and yeah. the people who are the crazy people at the minute who want to walk to the middle will come and meet you and then a sensible discussion can be had. But you don't need to kind of match that. Yeah. I mean, get, put it. there's a genuine thing that I've had because I've been trying to be more sociable and I've got a, a quite a large personality flaw. I, I'm very good in social situations, but there's just certain streets where I'll just do something that is fine, but that person will naturally take the wrong way. Mm. Um, like we've got a mutual friend who met up for a drink and there was just like, I was, I was genuinely making an active effort not to wind him up. Oh, right. But like, it just, it just happened. And like by complete coincidence, <laughs> I just said one thing that was completely unrelated, but it just magicked round to be an insult to him. I was like, no, 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 that's not, I'm trying not to. And I've got that with some people. Yeah. And, and because I could be quite loud and quite, um, uh, abrupt maybe that like chatting to people about like I mean hanging around with open micers like they're telling me jokes mm. and I don't know whether they like I if, if I find it really funny if I find it funny at all I will laugh yeah but there's this whole thing of like telling a joke that is in quotes supposed to be funny because it's topical or it's mm. shocking or it's whatever I have no reaction because I don't find it very funny yeah like well, the it's the same thing it's like it's like well yeah I don't really watch panel shows so like, the, yeah. like, have I got news for you and stuff? It's like, yeah, well, yeah. I, yeah it's some, it's, it's topical, I yeah. guess. Well, there's well some, done. Some stuff that I like, but it's, I mean, take an example like um, newspapers. Mm. I've never understood it. I mean, I understand behind it, but like there's a whole comedian's or a satirist's view of certain demographics of newspapers. Well, yeah. they must have been a Daily Mail reader. Yeah. What is that? And, and then, oh, <laughs> so, oh, it's okay, just... you're saying that the the newspaper that is politically influenced and funded by because like a lot of papers are leaning towards one mm. political party or the other, because someone reads that they therefore lean into that and but they yeah. match. The, it's, it's, I don't understand what you're saying. All you're trying, to, I, I I get the joke of like yeah. oh bloody all it's the same. It's just segregating parties, right? Yeah. Saying oh a Scottish and Irishman and Englishman, yeah, all that kind of stuff. And then oh Daily Mail reader and that and that. Mind you, I've I never do the same it. thing. I'm always like fucking Guardian readers and New York yeah. Times people and everything like that. I th I think they de there's definitely. Uh, kind of a well-defined stereotype that's not necessarily linked to all of reality, but stereotypes yeah. definitely have a root somewhere. It could be that I'm just I'm just not in touch. The only stereotype I know is the Daily Mail hates immigrants and loves Princess Diana. Is mm. that right? That's the only one I know. I don't. Is the Times? That's Rupert Murdoch, isn't it? So is that a like, lot of it? Is like the Sun is Rupert Murdoch, right? And, so maybe yeah. I'm just not. I don't. I'm not keyed yeah. into. I'm not invested in readers of newspapers i guess yeah but yeah this might just be something I'd, but but there's that same kind of social contract reaction that you mm. meant to like give and you have to kind of gauge it because if you don't laugh at somebody who's desperately trying to make you laugh it makes a weird atmosphere yeah but you can just go like you know you can deal with it in different yeah. social ways well as, as far I, I know it's that's awkward 
Um, and my instinct would be to laugh as well, even if I didn't really find it that funny. Mm. But the reality is, is that if they're going to go on stage with it, there will be people that, and, and it's a crap joke, people won't laugh. Oh yeah, but it's just, it's just that whole, my, my default setting is to not laugh. Yeah. And it's like, do it, how, how much more sociable should I be in mm. order to react to certain things? And you'd be like, eh, I'm just, I should just get used to a life of isolation. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just be the guy who's just like, I'm, I'm at an event. I'm not promoting it. I'm just here. Yeah. And I'm doing things. And then, yeah, this, if you like it, you don't like it, whatever. It's all fine. There's something about socialness, um, which went back to me always defaulting to her, uh, wind people up by accident. I can't remember where that came from. Mm. Came from the topic before that. Anyway, got some news. All Coronavirus, right. people working things out. Yeah. People communicating. Toilet roll. Oh. Toilet roll. There was another thing. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's affected a lot of different industries. Um, yeah. This coronavirus, like there's like, like whole companies have collapsed. It'll affect all industries. Yeah. I the, and a big one was airlines because they still have to fly empty planes. Oh, really? to maintain the routes. Oh, shit. Apparently that's being fixed. That's being like, adjusted or something like that. But tourism has obviously also dropped because of this. Yeah. And it's specifically tourism in Thailand. So Thailand hasn't had that much tourism. Okay. And the wildlife of Thailand depends on tourists feeding monkeys in the street. Oh, really? <laughs> so there's all these incredibly hungry, aggressive <laughs> monkeys in Thailand now. <laughs> <laughs> that there was... <laughs> Because there's no tourists, like, giving them nuts or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> that's so stupid. Oh, the poor bugger that's just like, oh, we'll go anyway. He's just walking alone down the street with all these monkeys. <laughs> there was a video, it's all the article said was just, um, I, I can't even remember what the article said, but it was a video of two, of like a gang of monkeys fighting over your yogurt pot. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is apocalyptic scene. Yeah, right there. that is like, that's the Hollywood movie worthy, right? Yeah. I mean... Yeah, the, you're not. If you don't feed the monkeys, they'll find <laughs> you. <laughs> Unexpected consequence of the yeah. of the uh, the coronavirus. But the, the the elephants are getting some time off, which is good. The, yeah. you know, the people that ride elephants through the woods and stuff. Easy shift. Which I think for years they've maintained is cruel because yeah, elephants yeah. aren't meant to carry loads on their back, and it just slowly cripples them. Yeah, they carry they carry things with their trunk, which is loaded like underneath them. And which tourists don't like that position. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you put me nearer the tusks in the mouth. Please. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, coronavirus, serious thing. Yeah. Let's see where yeah. it goes. I think it's also funny when, uh, again, it's the it's the willing disbelief I mm. find funny. Because uh, I, I understand that people, my understand, my belief is that um, people reacting ridiculously negatively about coronavirus like panic yeah. buying and, and panicking it's kind of default human nature yeah like there's a uh, there's an apocalypse coming somebody said people are going to panic but like the anti of it just feels like really intentional like just denying it and holding your ground everyone's fine the, the death toll doubled today it's fine <laughs> <laughs> more and more people are dying now they're not all yeah. right okay like it's, it, it's not it's not as big as people are saying but it is a big thing. It's is, is that such a weird peace branch to hold out? Yeah, it's a thing. It's it's a it's it's a middle line. Like, yeah. I think, I think there is a case that people who would be vulnerable to other things will be vulnerable to it. Yeah. Um, but generally, if you if you're a fit and healthy person, just just be sensible well, about things. Don't go around licking door newborn handles. Newborn baby. And, yeah. Healthiest and most responsible we've ever been is when you're newborn. I think. And then, uh, yeah, but they've been born into a hospital full of coronavirus victims. Sort of cure. Well, I mean, there, there's, I think, I think cancer victims and, and people who suffer from cancer and mm. diabetics are the highest yeah. affected, which you could argue is most elderly people suffer from those diseases. Yeah. So it's just kind of non correlated. Yeah. But it's just, a, it's a weird thing. Yeah. It's a, it's a weird thing. It's a weird hill to die on that you will possibly die on. Yeah. It's just like everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Donald Trump took a, uh, a temperature test today and said it totally normal. Because <laughs> <laughs> the, the UK is being put on the ban to America list now. Oh, has it? Yeah, uh, Reddit just uh, pulled up. Yeah, because it was originally Europe and UK, UK and Ireland could go to America, yeah. but none of the rest of Europe. And now that we're being added on to it. Yeah, I mean, the trouble is, I, I think we're kind of a hub. So a lot of people that go over to the States and wherever yeah. else come into England first. Yeah. 
But it's just, yeah, it's, an in- it's interesting. It's interesting. Or we time. pass through other countries to get to America, I think. Maybe. Like, yeah. But yeah, it's just, it's, it is, it just is escalating on a global scale. And yeah. It seems weird to like say no. Yeah. But it's just, it's not, you don't need to panic, but you need to be responsible. Yeah. That's all we're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Um, oh, the, uh, the, the coronavirus conference got cancelled because of coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That makes and I sense. still don't. I don't. Well, the thing I don't understand about stuff like that is like, is is like any meeting. Why are you traveling halfway across the world to talk about something when we've all got fucking video phones now? It, it just better in person. Well, it, for, for stuff like that, like it doesn't well, fucking matter. What we were speaking about before the podcast, like if I was, if we were to interview on another podcast, we'd prefer to go in person. Yeah. And there's that. I think it's, it's probably a similar kind of mentality of like. Yeah, we can do this in on on Skype or something, but it feels like it would be more efficient in a weird, time-consuming mm. way to drive somewhere and chat face to face. Yeah, I imagine like sales and and like relationships between people. Yeah, is, uh, is I think a that thing. I think that kind of thing is the sort of thing that that um, that that VR is going to change. <laughs> like, I, th- <laughs> I think I think I think there'll be a lot of implementation in 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 business with things with uh, conferences and things like that. Like it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Terry, Terry, you here? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm Sonic. All right, <laughs> Terry, Sonic, everybody. Who else is here? Yeah, Chewbacca. <laughs> we fired you. Get us. St- <laughs> still be like normal looking people, just sparkly, but, glowy. But that's that that's kind of that's sort yeah. Of it will change. Begins things. to bridge a gap. Maybe. What was that Bruce Willis film where he was he thought he was bald and young, but he was balding and dead and fat or something? Oh, I don't know. It was like an AI kind of film, but it wasn't AI. It was yeah. uh, I can't remember. But it was like avatars, people living in and doing stuff instead. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, COVID nineteen yeah. or whatever it is, coronavirus. There was there was a freaky thing that I heard. Um well that that just is. Mm. Um so because we've spent years and years and years offloading all our manufacturing over to China, that's included all of the all of our medical supplies and everything like that. And they're in complete control of everything that's ordered and made and, and everything <laughs> until it leaves the country. So if it, they're, th- so China is in complete control of most of the world's medical supplies, most mm-hmm. of the Western worlds anyway, like the US and, and us and everyone else. Um, like, and that we, from stuff like masks and, and surgical supplies and everything mm. to, to just like basic medication, like ibuprofen and fucking paracetamol and everything. And like all the core ingredients and everything that goes into it. So they, they have like a first come first serve basis. With, okay. with 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 all the supplies. So it doesn't matter if you order anything from them. Most countries will not have access to medical supplies if China needs them more. Okay. I thought you were going down a conspiracy lane there. No, no, no. Because I imagine that's what well, they, a lot of people could say. They already like, yeah. No, they already had a th- had a thing where they where China have ordered ships that were delivering supplies to the states to turn around and come back because they 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 decided that they they need people as well yeah mm-hmm. yeah billion people yeah and it's it's perfectly responsible of them to do that yeah um but like it's it, it's it, it's a weird consequence that i think people either didn't see coming or gleefully ignored yeah well i, I was sorry, that was gonna be my original point about the from rationing of supplies from supermarkets now all that encourages is people to hoard more the next time something happens yeah, because like I mean, literally buying like twelve tins of tuna, and it was like you can't, you can only buy eight. It's like, well, I come here once a month and I do my food shop for tuna once a month. You mm. know me, like I come yeah. here every month. But it's like no, like okay, so next, all, all I was going to say is, well, next time you just buy a hundred tins of tuna. Next time there's a potential panic, and then you, yeah. they, it seems strange. Yeah, it feels weird to ration out tinned food. Oh, preppers are over the fucking moon right now. <laughs> I've got all the cornmeal. Told you, <laughs> I got fifty kilos of pasta. Yeah, apparently right. this was the I can't remember what it was called, but there was some. There's meant we were due a massive pandemic of some kind. Yeah, and it, but it was called something else, and it was in the. Uh, it was a known word um, about something's coming or whatever. It's like, oh yeah, it's just kind of happening now. You just yeah yeah, it just kind of sucks. Mm. Um, Steve, may I have a pick fact, please? Oh, yeah. Pig back. <laughs> that was delayed. Sorry. That's right. Wasn't expecting. Um, pig. I need to work out how to phrase this pig fact because it's an article. Um, pigs 
Um, <laughs> what are they can, good for? <laughs> uh, pigs uh, can build uh, bombs in their rectums. Big fact. <laughs> 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 It was a pig. Um, a pig started a fire after it ate a pedometer and shat it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like these these pigs were given pedometers right. to measure their distance or some kind of study. <laughs> pig ate it. Um, I need to get the science right on this. Actually. Was it a battery? It was, was it copper the wire, that, I think. Okay. And um, methane? Copper. F- Once nature had taken its course, the copper from the device's batteries reacted with the contents of the pig pens, causing the dry hay bedding to burst into flames. Wow. So <laughs> he took a shit that caught fire. <laughs> pig fact. <laughs> pig fact. <laughs> Yeah, the um, I saw a guy shitting on the road on the way here. Actually, <laughs> what? yeah, I, the, the road that I take. There's lots of people like do this long walk. Cause it's like between um, two villages. It was Kids Grove and um, All Sager. Like that long stretch. Of oh road. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when it gets a bit more country, like toward, more towards All Sager, it's like yeah, it's just the guy squatting on the pavement taking a shit. <laughs> oh, God. All right, <laughs> just driving past. All okay, right. yeah, Kids fair Grove. Yeah. Was it kids? It might have been close to here, actually. But yeah, it was on one of those country laney things. Yeah. It was just like, oh, fair enough. Ugh. Luckily, it wasn't a pig. Otherwise, the fire brigade <laughs> would have to be called. Cool. Uh, oh, on that, lastly, on that uh, fire shit pig, uh, the fire brigade quipped a hose reel was used to extinguish the fire and save the bacon. Oh, God. You see, that's why I hit and it makes me angry. Yeah. And it shouldn't. I think that's the point I was going to before. I just never got there. Was... Um, yeah, when people tell me a bad joke, it makes me angry. Like saying, oh, yeah. what are you like, a Daily Mail reader or something? Yeah. I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> pig butter! Just, I can't... Uh, one pig facts, not pig puns. <laughs> yeah. Just when there's, there's like predictable, just weak... And it's not just, it's not just jokes. I think it's just like pleasant conversation. <laughs> I'm so full of hate sometimes <laughs> sometimes I, I sometimes I, I like to play with it and there's a whole thing about like taking small talk to the nth degree just for fun it's kind of fun but like most of the t- i've noticed more and more recently i've been in a weird place anyway but i've been more antisocial than usual mm. so it's been like yeah i just like react with rage now make it part of who i am <laughs> um oh we got um oh shit i need to find one of these so in quick quick fire news uh, the smallest dinosaur ever found was a weird primitive bird scientists have said okay is that not dinosaurs it's a weird primitive bird weird it's weird okay so probably falls under that bracket scientists have said it's a bit weird weird and primitive (laughs) yeah it was a dinosaur yeah Yeah, yeah. it's quite primitive Uh, yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah it wasn't like some kind of modern technology super bird it was just like, ah, oh, it's just a weird small bird. Is that a bad use of that word? Doesn't primitive relate to primate? Isn't it related to how, how we behaved? Oh, it's quite primitive behaviour. I don't know. Maybe, but I think that context would still work in terms of... I Earth. understand it. Yeah, I, yeah, I get it. But like, yeah, I, think that, I think you'd be talking about the uh, capability of that bird would be primitive in yeah. relation to other of its species, the same as we were to other people, I guess. I yeah. think it still works. But yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird small bird. Oh, that's the end thanks, of that. scientists. Yeah. <laughs> Another quick fire news from yeah. Stoke. Disturbing oh. footage emerges of a zombie man on high on drugs in Hanley at nine thirty in the morning. That's there's a zombie man in Hanley. That's not new. That's just we decided Zombies. to record it for a change. Zombies in Hanley. <laughs> Usual. Yeah. More of the same. <laughs> <laughs> Got down the Winchester. Of a weird. It'll just be someone high on spice. Yeah, I've, I think I've said that word before. I never heard it before. Yeah, the new is mamba or spice. Yeah, because it used to be monkey dust, didn't it? Was it monkey dust? Yeah. Well, so I think when I was at, when I was at uni, um, I got uh, I I I tried uh, spice, and it it did, back then it didn't really do anything. Right. Like there was there was a sort of natural compound in it that was meant to be vitamin uh, E or something. sort of like THC like. Okay. Um, but it was all made of natural stuff. Um, and after the, after the when the, the government banned all these compounds, so they started making the same kind of thing out of synthetic stuff. Yeah, was it? Was it um, meow and, meow? 
was a legal high when I yeah. was at uni. I never did it, but it was Meow Meow was like, a, oh, you can buy this online. People are selling it online. Yeah. And then it was turned to be illegal. And then I think they chased up a few more of those like online well, drugs. Was, wasn't there like MCAT? Mm-hmm. And that MCAT, was like, that that was like uh, plant fertilizer. Yeah, I think Meow Meow or Meow was MCAT, I think, yeah. from something like that. But yeah. yeah, there was a time. So it was legal and then... They made the compounds. Illegal. They made the compounds in it illegal. So, th- so the the people that were making it in China started making it out of synthetic stuff, and that has just fucked everybody up. <laughs> it's like it's the same thing as always. It's like, well, if if you, people are going to take it, and it's most likely the more natural that you can make it, the less the less mm. effect it'll it'll have on people. Like the with well, the less negative effect. Yeah, I don't know. What, I'm, I'm curious as to what it is in the brain because. This is probably white privilege, <laughs> but like I haven't, um, I've, I've had moments where I've wanted to completely close off from the world and numb myself in some way, yeah. but it's never been through the use of drugs of any kind. Mm. Maybe sugar, like yeah. genuinely, like there's been like a thing of like, I'm going to drink sugar and I could focus on that, but never alcohol, never any like reclusive drugs. I, I, I've definitely had it when I was younger with alcohol, but yeah. now... Like these days, it's you just drink, well. You drink cider when I knew you, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So I drank. It feels weird to escape the world through Strongbow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't know why. No, still, still alcoholic drink. I think if I, I, th- I think if there was anything stronger, I'd drink like whiskey, like not good whiskey, but just whiskey. Mm. Um, and um, yeah, so but like, now, nah, like th- th- these days, it's just no. I'll just, I'll just sit on my own at <laughs> home. <laughs> I'll just like, uh, wait this out. You don't. You, well, I, yeah. There's. The, I, I don't feel a pull towards usually like putting myself in a different state of mind to escape. Yeah. Like it's. It's yeah. never through drugs. I've done it through other things, like sitting and watch a, a movie, right? Yeah. And I'll try and escape I'd, into that. Uh, maybe I've never really uh, done it music. Me. You can do it through music. Yeah, I yeah, think. yeah. Definitely channel music yeah. and stuff. But yeah, I wonder what. I guess it, I. I imagine it's probably just based on your experiences. So imagine like there was, it's a whole thing when, I, when we were kids about people drinking and it was just never a big thing for me, but there were some guys like, oh, I love beer, mm. and, like drinking beer and white lightning. I was like, I, yeah, I partook in that a little bit, but it wasn't like, I was never like, oh, let's go out and get wasted. But I yeah. think that's just like an expi- a, a molding experience at some time. When people were having that, I was nightclubbing <laughs> and like dancing to music and stuff like that. So I think I got that more of a channeling thing. Yeah. Because I was like, I, th- I think at that, the age of 15, 16, maybe younger, 14, is like when you start to rebel. But I was mm. rebelling doing, you know, different things yeah. to what um, the average person was doing. I, I never really had a rebellious phase. My parents didn't really put any restrictions on me. And I, and I was always yeah. quite sensible when I was a kid anyway. Well, I guess it's not rebel. Yeah, rebelling feels like you're 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 fighting against something, which I was doing. But there was uh, there was more other stuff about just trying to discover yourself. I think that's what it was. Mm. I'm the kind of guy who watches, you know, Murder She Wrote, <laughs> typewriters, Spicy. old woman, Mambo, whatever it is. <laughs> whatever it is. And yeah, I was like, oh, the, I was like, oh, metal music. I find there's something in this music that I love. I'm going to pursue it. And there's people in this scene that I love. So I want to go pursue that kind of stuff like that. And yeah, other people were like the in-betweeners. And then other people were like, yeah, I guess more drinky, uh, druggy stuff. Because I know loads of people like do loads of drugs. It's like, I I wouldn't have the time. I'm just just very busy. I'm too (laughs) too busy for all those drugs. Um, So yeah, that was uh, Spice or Mamba. And it was just a guy, apparently he's like paralytic. He was just like stud still going. Yeah. And then getting stuck in his coat. And someone tried, a dad, like a 35 year old or something, went over to go help. And he was just threatened. Like, fuck fuck you. So he like walked away and just filmed it. When I've been walking around Manchester, there's loads of people around there that you see just like swaying in doorways. And you can can kind of, you, you can tell. Never seen it, but I guess no? I'm probably more used to it. Like, well, I've worked in a lot, of, a lot of cities. Yeah, I noticed in Manchester there's a lot more. Um, there was a lot more people suffering from drugs, mm. but they were like, you know, people who just like you could tell the physical differences. Yeah, I always put it down to it was just drugs are cheaper up here, so they just did more <laughs> than what I saw in London. But yeah, or maybe just a different type of drug. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, I just never saw it on the streets. I've seen obviously homeless people, but yeah, yeah so there's zombies in Hanley. Decent. Yeah. Oh, um, oh, lastly from me, um, 
coronavirus, just real briefly. Okay. Uh, a Saudi Arabian oil giant called Saudi Aramco has apologised after forcing a man to dress up as a human hand sanitizer and dispense it around reception. <laughs> <laughs> What what should we do about all this uh, corona? Let's dress up Fred. Yeah. Who's Fred? He's just some guy who works for us. Yeah. Let's make him a, a human hand sanitizer. Yeah. And just parade you know what, him this, around. What this what this virus is missing? A mascot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and apparently, I I know nothing about this, but apparently Saudi Arabia's got a real bad problem with mistreating workers. It's got a problem with mistreating everybody. It's a fucking archaic. Place. So like they're just like, oh, just, we'll just dress up the workers as hand sanitizers. Can't we just hand out hand? No, no, he's no, no, got no. to be the hand sanitizer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the competing oil giant across the road has got someone handing out hand sanitizers. We've actually got one <laughs> walking around, and he's just a guy like a big box with a hand sanitizer thing in the middle, like a water dispenser. <laughs> Hello, do you want some hand sanitizer? Press me. Oh. <laughs> So sad. They've apologised. Yeah. Uh, after pictures began circling and people thought it was going to be uh, just like some big prank. Yeah, the Persian Gulf has been criticised in the past for failing to treat foreign labourers, often from South Asia, with dignity and respect. Mm. You're a hand sanitizer now. <laughs> Not a person. <laughs> uh, apparently, and the, video, the photographs were verified in some way by multiple journalists. <laughs> so yeah. Arms oil giants are oh. employing hand sanitizers now. Yeah. And selling them on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was they were trying to do DIY sanitizer. They're like, well, we'll yeah. just take Ahmed, <laughs> make him into a hand sanitizer. <laughs> Seems strange. Uh, Who is Ahmed? Was he a monkey in a Disney film? Ahmed. Is Ahmed no, that's Abu. Yeah, that's a boo. Ahmed the dead terrorist. <laughs> There's some the, reference that that about Ahmed. I can't have to look into it. Anyway, that was, that's me for this yeah, week. That was the Jeff Dunham thing, I think. Oh. Ahmed the Dead Terrorist with the skull and yeah. the turban. And, like, for it. me to put nice triumph. Um, silence, I kill you. There you go. That's the one, yeah. When I was younger, I actually found it really funny for about a month. Yeah, I had friends tell me it was funny. And then I got over it. It's like, this isn't... <laughs> it doesn't offend me, but it's not funny. This isn't anymore. This isn't enough. Like, yeah. it's just... Yeah, it's just... It's no Daily Mail joke. Oh, it's the same joke for 20 years. Mm. Amazing. Uh, anyway... Steve's collection of useless meanderings. Scum. Oh, bit of scum. Um, during the 1956 Olympic torch relay, the mayor of Sydney was past the torch and proceeded to give his no doubt long-winded, boring rah-rah speech about how great it is to live in a country that's constantly trying to kill you. Hmm. Um, what he didn't notice, probably because he was drunk, something something Foster's joke, was that Barry Larkin, <laughs> the guy who handed him the torch, had actually given him a tin can strapped to a chair leg with a pair of burning underpants in it. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the Olympic torch. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> just for a prank? Just to be... So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be wrapped just to show up, the so world. wrapped up in your own shit that you just <laughs> <laughs> you don't notice. Like you're holding a toddler on fire. <laughs> this is great. I love the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it brilliant? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, great for the economy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cures coronavirus. Yeah, yeah. I guess it was a cold, and now it's hot. I guess <laughs> makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, don't be shitting yourself around turkeys. Okay. Uh, the birds will make every attempt to attack and dominate any humans they perceive as subordinate. And squatting is sub shitting is subordinate. Don't shit yourself. Don't. Oh, don't get like afraid. Don't, not literally. Sh oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's being subordinate. Yeah. <laughs> shitting on the road. Yeah. That guy. Killed by turkey. Yeah, but it's not. It's it, you don't even have to like show a sign. Like it's like they'll be like, no, nah, he's he's weak. Yeah, and like and they'll just they'll they'll just go for I, you. And I think everybody does that. That's why Love Is Blind didn't work. I think you yeah. do pick up on so many subconscious signals that yeah. even turkeys can tell if you're afraid. Yeah, and look, the example you gave and a while ago about actively dominate you, even though you're yeah. like five times the size of them. Yeah, well, that's what loads of small animals do, don't they? It's all yeah. about uh, bluff. Yeah, they just like peacocks. They just make a big display. Yeah, in the hope that you'll back down. Yeah. Because sometimes it will work with lots of things. Look how big my tail is. <laughs> but like you are saying before about, um, I think it was in Kenya, where like lions would kill a zebra and if you walked oh, to yeah. the zebra with enough confidence. With, en with enough confidence, yeah. yeah. And it's a real thing. It's not, a, yeah. like, and it happens in a lot of situations. Like I, I, had, I had to do it as a waiter because of how I look. And it's had, I had to kneel down 
and like make myself at eye level with everyone at the table. Yeah. And I had to change my body language in order to earn money. You can do it vocally. Like yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 when I was doing like customer service work when I was younger. Hello. Y- yeah. This well, is a nice, helpful voice. Don't well, feel threatened. It is. Buy my fridge. But, <laughs> 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 but if people, if people start getting shitty with you, there's a tone of voice that you can put on that will. Yeah. Well, the, the, <laughs> not not the not an empathetic up, one, shit? not an empathetic one. Just yeah. just something that's like assertive. Yeah, that that isn't. I domineering. totally understand. And I'm going to deal with it. For isn't you. isn't domineering, but it's it's assertive and it kind of like brings them, calms them down, and gets them under control. I always found that much more effective than doing the oh like the, <laughs> <laughs> like the yeah oh sorry we'll do everything we can it's like that 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 was that was never effective for me it was always you have to kind of approach it with like a like a, a can do attitude you, you're whatever the problem is you're I'm the, on your side well you're you're so you're, I would do anyway you you know what the answer is and you're and I'll uh, we'll we'll do this and then I'll call you back is that okay yeah, yes. yeah. And like and so as like and it was it was the same kind of thing it's like even the angriest person you could you could just you could bring them down pretty quickly. Yeah, it's also good to match their anger as well. Again, working in restaurants. <laughs> oh! Excuse me. There's no there's no ketchup on this table. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think in that situation <laughs> You make them see how outrageous they are. Yeah, being. yeah. And, but you, but you just match it. And, and if you're in all seriousness, it's that whole same thing of people just they realize, oh, you know, the coronavirus only kills the elderly. You're like, oh, great. You're like, what? No, that's not what I meant. Just, you're just working it out. This voicing something, and they don't hear it. You just go like, yeah. just, it, match it, and be like, no, I completely fucking agree. This place is shit. <laughs> I'll go get some now. In fact, take take it from this table. Fuck you. <laughs> We'll get some more. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, Excuse me, I've been waiting for my ice cream for, for about 10 minutes. What? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> tip tables over. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, that guy wasn't angry. He's just telling you. Maybe he had the nerve to complain, oh. didn't he? <laughs> All right. Excuse me. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I'll go fucking kill him, shall I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and that's the other one. Yeah, it's the strange psychopathic subtleness. Of, yeah. Oh, yeah, I haven't got your ketchup, have you? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll go f- fuck me, right? I'll go fucking get it. Yeah. It's, it's Especially, um, but people are more than understanding. They just want to, you know, I, yeah. just in case there's an issue, you know, is there anything going on? I had that when my appendix exploded. Yeah. I was like, excuse me, you know, I haven't had any... Like the people, I, I was in, I was in a waiting room to get given some kind of drip antibiotics before I was given a bed to sleep in for the operation the next day. And I was just sat in this chair for like six hours, mm. and people before me were going were going before me. I was fine. I had my laptop and everything. I came prepared, but like, um, yeah, I was just like at one point. I was like, just just want to know, like, is there? Am I supposed to have gotten something by now? I've been here for quite a while. Totally understand. If not, I just want to make sure that everything's cool. And they're like, oh yeah, you should have had antibiotics like four hours ago. It's like, okay, cool. No problem. But I, I thought so. So I'm just throwing a flare in the air. Yeah. Can we deal with this? And they dealt with it. And they couldn't put a needle in my arm. It was a, it was a proper sketch. You've got like weird veins. Yeah, it was a proper sketch. I've, I've had it a few times. I don't have it that much, but it's finding a vein is sometimes quite difficult for, for some people. So it started off with a trainee nurse. She couldn't do it. She went out the room and came back with a, a, a non-trainee nurse. Yeah. She couldn't do it, went out, came back in with a surgeon. Yeah. They couldn't do it, <laughs> went out, came... All the time, they're just stabbing my arm. <laughs> <laughs> my appendix is like... <laughs> <laughs> stab, stab, stab. <laughs> then my doctor came in. She couldn't do it. Um, and then eventually, they got someone some like from the finance area. Like <laughs> It was just in the corridor. She goes, oh, yeah, I'm just, I, just, I just like doing it. So I didn't mind if I do it. And then she managed to get it done. I was like, all right, it's fine. Great. It's Why cool. aren't you in the doctor's area? <laughs> These balance sheets, they're, they're yeah. really cauterized. We need, to, <laughs> we need to really put shunt in these accounts. Just doing that, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, so most people just want to be like, just, is everything still running normally? Like, mm. is there any way I can help? A lot of the time is usually yeah. what people done. But some people just want to complain and it's just fun to play with them. Because yeah. you're complaining about your ketchup not being here yet. All right, <laughs> don't worry about it. I think it's, uh, if I, I bring you ketchup with enough vigour, you might give me a fiver. So, yeah, <laughs> sure, I'll do it with intensity. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> shh, 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 shh. 
yeah. <laughs> all over their dinner. Yeah, yeah. I, I I liked restaurant work though. It was good. Yeah, I I like the not giving a shit approach, which is like I'll solve your problem, but I'm not gonna get angry about it or be on your side or anything. Like that's too just, boring for me. Here you go. Anything to vent out the the hatred. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd, I, I'd, my, Trash I'd, the place. <laughs> my favorite one of that was uh, I can't remember what special it was, but it was Dylan Moran. He was talking about having having his kid having his kid on a plane and he's like people's reaction to oh. you when you've got a kid on a the plane they'll just turn around and look at you when it's crying and he's, he's just like oh I'm sorry I'll slit its throat <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well that's the thing I, I said before that anger is brilliant mm. um, it's just as long as it's managed properly and it needs to have the right context mm. like like I was saying before if you so long as you can deal with the situation in front of you it shouldn't matter what, the, what happens elsewhere in the world. Yeah. But in the same respect, you have to respect the environment that you're in. Mm. Some people have babies and some people fly. Yeah. What are you going to do? It sucks. Okay. Buy some earplugs. Mm. That's all you need to do. Yeah. Oh, no. They don't. They're on the plane. You can ask for some earplugs on the plane. But it's not very comfortable. You're fucking flying. Yeah. Make some it's, sacrifices. It's, it's at, zero G. I'd say at Whatever most, it it's 20 hours of your life. Mm. But for most people... It's between three and five. Well, and don't be wrong, it does suck. Yeah. But you have to accept that the world's not perfect. It's like being on a bus. Yeah. And going to the shops, you don't have control over who's in there. It's like walking down the road and seeing shit in the road. You'd be like, well, that man just shat in the road. It's just <laughs> people do these things. He's yeah. probably on links or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Snot in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, anyway, um, until the Smurfs came along, we naturally assumed that uh, the annual Most Miserable Existence on the Planet Award went to the people of Kentucky. Um, <laughs> and uh, even after the Smurfs came along, Kentuckians still walked away with the prize because Smurfs were considered to be total fantasy, whereas Kentucky mm. is, in spite of everyone's best efforts, still a real place. Um, <laughs> however, in a joint effort, a Kentucky family known as the Fugatis, I'm going to say Fugatti because that sounds good, okay. F-U-G-A-T-E, um, uh, have swept the awards for the last several decades thanks to a rare blood disease, methemoglobinemia, uh, which has turned the family's skin blue. Um, okay. <laughs> there doesn't appear to be any cure for the disease, although there are no <laughs> real ill effects, unlike being from Kentucky. You just need to become a trio of percussionists yeah. and do a show in Vegas. <laughs> Apparently they can... It's, with the Blue Man family. It's, it's, it's to do the oxidisation of their blood and it doesn't really cause them any harm, but their blood doesn't Have carry oxygen, oxygen in it. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't carry it efficiently mm. or something. So it remains blue it as travels, opposed to being red. Travels faster than the speed of oxygen. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. But they can... Uh, the, the, the only thing that they were prescribed was, was a, a pill that will temporarily turn you a normal colour <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go out or summit. Like a fucking... You turned to a pumpkin after midnight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to a smirk. You just stay out too long and you're just like... Are you- oh. <laughs> <laughs> go out on a date with somebody. Yeah. <laughs> because, it, it, because whatever it is that does it, like, it leaves your system when you relieve yourself. <laughs> so... Excuse me. Yeah, just, just go, go to, to the bathroom. bathroom. <laughs> Cut back. Oh, that Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, that's better. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> there was another Smurf thing this week. Did you see that? No. It was a, uh, I kept on reminding, when I woke up, I was like, I need to remember this. I just forgot. Um, coronavirus. <laughs> okay, of course. Yeah. Right. The big impact from that is loads of public spectacles and public events being cancelled. Mm. NBA's been cancelled. The Premier League's been cancelled. Yeah. WrestleMania's probably going to be cancelled this year. Yeah. America's been cancelled. Yeah. You know, there's loads of stuff. The events are just closing away. Yeah. Apart from the annual Smurf Festival. Ooh. Risk takers. I think is it's somewhere in either Scandinavia or, or some Northern Europe, I mm. think. And it was something like thousands of people dressed as Smurfs. Okay. Meeting up and partying all the time. Right. And they're like, fuck coronavirus. <laughs> Smurf life. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take notes on it. I saw it. Yeah, was, that seems great. Yeah. Same thing as, oh, there was a tool was part of it as well. Did you see that? There was a, a confirmed coronavirus infected person went to a tool concert. And there was this uh, there was a news article about all the, like, oh my God, do you know what happens at these metal festivals or these tool fest- these tool music events? Yeah. People dance together. Like, you spread it to all the tool fans. <laughs> this is a yeah. very tool thing to do. I actually I actually went to a uh, tool concert to get coronavirus. Yeah. Because fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know that much about tool fans, but no, <laughs> I'm, I'm a well, fan. The, the stupid one I heard was was that there was um, there was someone one of one of the initial cases in the US um, were told like you need to you need to self quarantine, don't go to any mm. crowded spaces or anything like that. Uh, within a few days, they were at a festival, <laughs> and that person was a nurse. <laughs> I need my breaks too. Like if you can't convince yeah. a nurse to act sensibly and do the right thing. Then yeah, what hope knows. do you have? It was France. France had the uh, Smurf Festival. Well, of course it's France. Don't give a <laughs> <Of> fuck. Course. <laughs> <laughs> Amid the escalating coronavirus. Does it, the, I always see France as like nonchalant, don't really give a fuck kind of attitude. Because of their not years in a, of not in a bad protesting. Way, but just... Uh, it feels just, weird that nonchalant protesters. Just, uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yellow jackets, yeah. the yellow jackets. Yeah, yeah. The, well, it, it's it's hard to tell. It doesn't really get a lot of coverage because yeah. it's not the right kind of people protesting. <laughs> Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, that's meant to be anti-Semitic. The Smurfs. Is it? There was a belief of that. I think it was, I saw it on. Ah, uh, uh, wait. Was that the Smurfs or the Gargamel? Snorks? Oh. Smurfs. Okay. Because yeah, Gargamel, can... not a Jewish name, but <laughs> yeah. big nose. Yeah. Ah, Gargamel. Something about... Jewish name. <laughs> but he, I think he had a Jewish cat. Uh, Azrael. Azrael, which is quite apparently quite a Jewish name. I just never thought about it in that light. And there no. Were, there's apparently there's an argument for it. So okay. Maybe there's we should an look argument for, the for everything. Festival for an anti Semite to interview. <laughs> Yeah. All right, uh, Zilwaukee, Michigan is named to confuse people looking for Milwaukee into settling down there instead. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Yeah. We got him. <laughs> <laughs> Literally why they named the town that. Milwaukee? Zilwaukee. Zil- <laughs> yeah. Stay Milwaukee. Here. Zil- Stay here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this Milwaukee? Zilwaukee, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Just don't ask anything else. Just yeah. go straight on, build your house. Zoo York's just down the road. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Zalifornia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's isn't Zalifornia a state? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, it's Zalifornia. Zalifornia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and That's finally, um, as a loyal Liverpool FC fan, Andy Grant had the moniker, you'll never walk alone, tattooed <laughs> on his leg. Um, what? <laughs> Eaten by alligators, his legs. No more legs. Unfortunately, this was prior to his <laughs> stampede. <laughs> this was <laughs> he got killed in a stampede. <laughs> this was prior to his military service okay. um, as a Royal Marine in Afghanistan, uh, where after being targeted by a particularly ironic landmine, <laughs> <laughs> the tattoo now Have simply the, reads: "Set the detonator." <laughs> yep. The irony. Yes, yeah, <laughs> a bit more irony in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ironic. <laughs> the tattoo now simply reads, you'll never walk. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Yeah. We got him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Yeah. That's good. It's funny though. <laughs> Got to look on the bright side. Yeah, yeah. It was. <laughs> it, it's ironic. <laughs> uh, we've got your diagnosis. Uh, it's actually written on your leg. Uh, <laughs> save some paper. To yeah. Read it out for us all. <laughs> ironic landmine. Yeah, yeah. That's me. That's me. Cool. Well done. Fun times. Mm. Yeah. Busy oh, ish couple of weeks. We still didn't say watchers on YouTube at the start. Yes. I was gonna phrase that <laughs> query. But then we didn't. Put something on it. Mm. The Pulling Teeth podcast is also available on YouTube. Alright, so anyway, now cut that coronavirus. Out and put it yeah. at the start. Let's pop something at the beginning. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah. Cause there is kind even though we show videos to each other. Yeah. There's still like, uh, this could all be audio. So yeah, we mm. need to uh, make it clear that we're on YouTube as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, more social media stuff again, as usual, needs to be done. Mm. Need to try and uh, do that. I went, I did a load of back cataloging work to get back on track with stuff. Yeah. So just need to do more. Just don't like social media. No, it's boring, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, it's one of the things that I just don't use. It's like putting it on Pinterest. <laughs> 
Yeah. Just don't use Pinterest. Why would I put it on there? Well, you should. Well, maybe we could. Yeah. But it just feels, yeah, alien. Yeah. So I'm at Nick Snip. At Singing Steve. <laughs> <laughs> at Pulling Teeth Pod on Twitter and Instagram. You can find us at facebook.com slash Pulling Teeth Podcast. You can email us at wisdom at Pulling Teeth Podcast.com. And you can find everything everywhere on Pulling Teeth Podcast.com. Yeah. Lovely website with all of our episodes on mm. and very soon when i get around to it all of our highlights on as well yeah subscribe and, uh, and like on youtube etc etc yes always greatly appreciated yeah. um yeah just keep through it uh, we have got some um audience emails in yeah just didn't have time to go over them today but they're always appreciated if you send this to the email yeah, address yeah, yeah. that'd be great mm. cool and that's us for this week that's the week we don't really end on a punchline anymore no nah. sometimes we used to well it was easier when we were editing well, even with the video. It's usually think, like, well, no, that was quite funny. We'll cut it back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.